Hello, this is Tobias Carling from the Carling Adrenal Center. Thank you for reviewing this video. You will see a completely unedited left adrenalectomy operation. It, it is function preserving, meaning partial, where I preserve about 30% of the normal adrenal tissue. This aldosterone producing tumor was removed in five minutes and 20 second seconds. The patient is undergoing a left function preserving or partial mini back scope adrenalectomy. What you see is exactly what happened during the operation. The video is unedited, it is not sped up. The mini back scope adrenalectomy has become the standard of care for almost all benign aldosterone and cortisol producing adrenal lesions, offering reduced morbidity, shorter hospital stays and faster recovery. The operation provides direct access to the adrenal gland and its fine vasculature. So it enables very precise function preserving or partial adrenalectomy and avoidance of adrenal insufficiency, even in patients that have bilateral tumors. So function preserving or partial adrenalectomy is rapidly becoming the best option for almost all patients with benign adrenal tumors. The patient is a 45 year old female with classic signs and symptoms of primary hyperaldosteronism or Kohn's syndrome. Her biochemical evaluation was unequivocal with an elevated aldosterone, completely suppressed renin and hypokalemia. She has a left 1.9 centimeter adrenal tumor consistent with an aldosterone producing tumor. And you can review the CT here. A 12 millimeter incision is made just below the tip of the 12th rib and then blunt dissection creates the retroperineal working space. Two additional five millimeter ports are placed under direct visualization, forming a triangular configuration for the endoscope and the instruments. Here I'm mobilizing the left kidney to gain access to the left adrenal gland. A 5 mm endoscope is inserted and carbon dioxide insufflation maintains a pressure of 28 mm mercury to expand the retroperineal space. I identify key landmarks including the paraspinous muscle and the left kidney. Since I want to preserve about 30 to 40 percent of the normal adrenal gland remnant, I am not dissecting out the left adrenal vein. Rather, the left adrenal vein is spared and the adrenal parenchyma is divided and ligated using the ligature. Here I'm evaluating the borders of the adrenal gland and deciding which portion is the best to preserve. Of course, I already have sort of decided this based on the CT scan where I created a three dimensional picture in my brain to know which is the best portion to preserve. And on the left side, it's often along the left adrenal vein. Since I'm dividing the normal adrenal tissue, which is very vascular, there is a few more droplets of blood right here. So here I'm dividing the adrenal tissue Again, preserving about 30% of a normal adrenal gland. And there is a little bit of bleeding from the remnant, which I want it to be. That means that it's nice and well vascularized. All that bleeding will stop within minutes.
The adrenal gland is placed in an endoscopic retrieval bag to prevent tumor spillage. The specimen is extracted through the initial mid incision and you can see the gross pathology here. Thank you again for watching.